Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is the first week of spring and I thought what better way to commemorate that than with this beautiful spring kit from Jessica Kate Planning. And also Jess from Jessica Kate Planning is going to be at the Melbourne Planner Market. So I thought that worked in really, really well. I realized that after I'd put down the washi and done a bit of whiting out that I hadn't shown you the stickers that I will be using. So I do that in a minute. Don't know if you guys have been watching the Whistle and Birch series, but I've been doing lots of different plan with me's in the different layouts. So it was really nice to get back into the vertical layout that I really enjoy and it's kind of my bread and butter. It was really nice to have a go with some different spreads and different layouts and think about how other people use planners, but it was really nice to get back to it. Here I just show you guys as usual what other stickers that I will be using and I really tried to pull in stuff that had pinks and greens and the more softer colours and the quote box doesn't come with the Jessica Kate planning kit. That is from Supernova Stickers and I just thought it went really really well and I really like having quote boxes. The clear monthly scripts are also from Supernova Stickers and I really like how I laid them over some deco and a flag. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a snippet into the life of Liss in this video I think. I'm gonna chat to you a bit about my weekend. So today I'm doing the voiceover on Sunday and we played soccer in the morning which is kind of like a thing I've been doing for the last 10 to 15 years. Been playing soccer for a fair while and I'm not very good at it but I'm there to have a really good time and, and play my favourite sport with my girlfriends. And we ended up winning 4-0 which is quite a big score in soccer and we actually beat a team that we <laughs> didn't imagine to beat like we went in the underdogs which was really great it didn't change the outcome of finals so next week on the first we play the semi-finals and our win today or whether if we lost it wouldn't have changed the outcome but we lo we won today and it means that we're a bit more pumped and could potentially win next week. But yeah, we won 4-0. I had also scored a goal, but it was counted as offside. So I'm not going to go into explaining the offside rule because that's just... We'll be here for like an hour and a half. The best explanation is if you guys have seen Bend It Like Beckham, they explain it there. So they use like a sauce bottle and vinaigrette and stuff like that. It's really funny. That's probably the movie that got me into playing soccer actually so it's a it's a good British movie anyway after I played soccer my partner and I had lunch and then we went into town the good game which is like the board game shop in Albury are having sales all this week because it's their anniversary week and today you could win a board game every hour so there was a group of five of us me and my partner and our mate that Dylan works with and then there were two other people, one I had met before and then the other girl I hadn't met, but she was really lovely. Ironically, her name is Melissa, so it was Liz, short for Alyssa, and Melissa hanging out. Anyway, so we got there about 12.30, so at 1 o'clock they drew the name and nobody from our team had won. But at 2 o'clock, Melissa actually won, so that was really exciting. And then the 3 o'clock ran around, came around and I actually won the 3 o'clock. And then the four o'clock one, one of our other mates had won that had come with us. So it was just crazy that out of, you know, 30 people that were there, three of the five of us had won a board game. I hadn't heard of the board game that I had won. It's called Terraforming Mars, but it sounds really cool. And it's like uh, a strategy and resource building game, which I know that Dill really likes. So we played a couple of different board games while we were there. One was a Harry Potter one, which was pretty tricky, but quite fun. And then we played Joking Hazard, which is by Cyanide and Happiness. And then we played The Great Dinosaur Rush, which is the game that Dylan and I had brought with us. And we loved that. And then once we had finished that, there was a group of five people across from us and they had asked, hey, come play Ultimate Werewolf with us. And we hadn't met these guys before, but they were a group of like-minded individuals. So of course we wanted to hang out with them and play Werewolf. 
So if you guys haven't heard of Werewolf, it's kind of like Mafia, which is kind of like Secret Hitler. So there's a group of villagers and a group of werewolves, and over the course of the night, the werewolves kill a villager, and then day breaks, and we as a team are all like, oh, I believe it's this person that's the werewolf. Oh no, this person's the werewolf, kind of like that. And so you don't know who anyone is, and it was really fun. And then the once we played that game and got to know these people, they were like, oh, we should do a weekly board game sesh. So from this random meeting, we have now these extra five people that we can play board games with, which is just wonderful. I have my soccer girls, but not a lot of them play board games. So it would be really nice to have these new group of people that we can play board games with. I absolutely love board games. So yeah, that was most of my day. And then when I got home, Dylan's like, oh, I'll mow the lawns. And I'm like, sweet, I can go walk the dogs. So both dogs now have halties, which is kind of like a muzzle, but it's not because they're aggressive. It's because they pull on the lead. They're very naughty doggos. They're not very well trained. And I will be the first and not the last person to say that. Like I love them to death, but we didn't train them as well as we should. And because they're border collies and kelpies, they have a lot of energy and whatever. And normally we just let them off the lead. But I walk them for about 40 minutes, just around the block kind of thing. And Aya, who's the border collie, she hadn't used the halty before and she absolutely hated it, but she was so well behaved on it. So we're really glad that we got a halty. We got it yesterday, actually, on the Saturday. We took the dogs to the dog park and then we went to Pet Barn to wash them. The dogs were so mad at us for getting them washed. Like, they were so filthy after going to the dog park and they definitely needed the wash, but they were not happy with either of us for getting a wash. And one of the... A girl that I used to do uni with, I didn't know her very well, but she comes in when we're about to set up for the dog wash and she's like, oh, it's on the house. So she gave us like $20 worth of free dog washing, which is amazing. And then the $10 voucher that I already had was used towards getting a Holtie. So Holties are $24 and they are the best thing that you can ever buy for a dog if it's pulling. We 110% recommend it. I was even going to include it in my favorites video. Let me guys know if you guys are dog people or cat people. I absolutely love dogs, but if it's the right type of cat, I will also like them as well. My mum has a lovely natured cat, and she's one of the only cats that I really like. Speaking of which, on the Friday the 30th, as you can see, I'm having lunch with my mum, which I'm very excited about. We haven't caught up in quite a while, so it'll be really nice to hang out with her. And we're actually going to get a pedicure together, which will be lovely. And then we'll go op shopping and then we'll have lunch. There's a place in Mornington that actually has keto food, which I'm very excited about. So we'll go to the op shops in Mornington and have the keto lunch. And then because I'm not only missing my dad's birthday, which was the 23rd, but I also miss Father's Day, I'm like, I've got to catch up with dad. So I'll be having dinner with him. And then from there, I'll go to my friends, Ben and Sam's, because they live right near the Melbourne Planner Market. And going to that on Saturday. Oh, I'm so keen. And I have some special news. I'm going to be doing meet and greet. So if you guys are coming, I will be at the front from 9 until 12. So make sure you say hi. Let me know if you enjoy watching my channel, that sort of thing. I've been umming and ahhing about whether I want to make a Planet Bliss with Lewis shirt because yes, I am that cringe. <laughs> I really want to and I'm really excited to go. So last year I went with my mum and this year I'm kind of doing the volunteering thing and then my friend Sam who I'm staying with, she's going to come meet me at the Planner Market when it's kind of died down a bit and then we'll go out for lunch which will be nice and yes, having some bubble tea. I had bubble tea today in Aubrey, like it's nice enough and I probably shouldn't be having it because it's not really keto, like it's full of sugar, but it's like my one treat and I absolutely love it and I can't wait to have some good bubble tea in Melbourne. You just can't beat like the cha time or the go cha, that sort of thing. I really, really like the 
Melbourne or the franchises rather than the one that's local here. Like, it's okay, but if I had the option, yeah. I put this sticker down from Marshmallow Studios just because I'm going to be buying a lot of stuff from the Melbourne Planner Market. And yeah, as I said, we've got the quarterfinals on Sunday. So we were seventh on the ladder for reserves. And so that means we'll verse second, which is a team called Cobram, which is about an hour and a half away from us. So that's good that they'll have to come to our home ground. And then I'll be binge watching some YouTube. So if you guys don't already follow Jess plans or Vicky plans or Mellow plans, I think it might be planned with Jess actually. I also really like Sarai G, Bell plans, and the Planner's Guide, which is now L Plans. So they're the handful of people that I really enjoy watching. And that brings us to the end of the spread. Though I put some deco and I try to be fancy here on the Tuesday to put uh, Tea Tuesday. I'm not really happy with it. I thought I'd try and be fancy and it just ended up looking shit. And let me know if you guys have been watching the Whistle and Birch series as to which planner spread you like the most and to which layout. I am 110% a vertical planner. This is the rest of the kit. I really enjoyed planning with it and I think I used a fair bit of it. Thanks so much for watching guys and I can't wait to see you at the Melbourne Planner Market. Catch ya!